Right, we're looking at NST and we're looking at ways that we can strengthen materials. Now, strong materials are used to build strong structures. Materials used in structures can be made strong in a whole bunch of different ways. Um, pillars and triangular shapes make structures stronger. Let's have a look at a few things. We can fold. Okay, folding is one way to make things stronger. If you look at corrugated cardboard, it's folded pieces of cardboard between two flat pieces. Okay, and that makes the cardboard box much stronger than what it was previously. Also, a cupcake case, okay, it's folded to give it strength and sturdiness. Okay, um, if we look at hollow pillars, okay, these wind turbines are held up by a hollow pillar. Um, and it's a strong circular pillar that can stand firm in strong winds. Also chimneys, okay, and some towers um, are also circular. In this case, in this picture, it's a square pillar, a hollow pillar. And then if we look at the back of this chair, um, it's strengthened. The back of this is strengthened by making little struts or thin tubes. Okay, and struts are used to strengthen structures like the chair in the picture. That's why struts must be made of strong material. Can be made stronger by rolling the material into long, thin tubes. Then we move on to something called triangulation. And you can see the word triangle. We can hear the word triangle in it. Remember back to frame structures, they've got different functions. They hold things up, they give a certain shape, or they bridge a gap between two places. Well, struts help to make these frame structures strong and rigid and stable. Stable means it's not going to go anywhere. Rigid also means it's not going to collapse. Triangulation means that struts can be joined into triangular shapes to make a strong, stable shape. Um, and another example of struts are the bones in our legs. Okay, they support our body weight. So if we look at the bridge in the picture, um, these diagonal lines over here, these diagonal struts, are put in place so that it gives the whole frame um, rigidity, okay, that it makes it more stable, that it's not going to collapse. Let's have a look at a way to practically use this. Um, in the first picture, the person has made a square, but if they press on the corners, like you see in picture number two, the square doesn't hold its shape, okay, it allows the person to squash the square. In picture three, they've added a strut, okay, they've added triangulation or they've made use of triangulation. And now when they press on those same corners, that square holds its shape, okay? And you had a case study, um, and you had a problem where there was a gate that was sagging, and you had to create tri use triangulation, and by creating a diagonal strut, you held that um, gate um, stable, okay? and you made it a whole lot stronger by adding a diagonal strut um, on the gate. How could your teacher ask you this? Well, she could ask you um, to name one way in which materials are strengthened. Okay, and we've got hollow pillars, we've got folding, we've got struts. Um, she could ask you to explain what triangulation is. Okay, it's making use of triangular shapes, um, making struts into triangular shapes to make a strong, stable shape. Um, she could ask you to give an example of a strut. Okay, and you could say that the bones in your leg. Um, are examples of struts. Good luck.